Howdy, folks. Um, I'm going to try some of these sour vampire bats. I am not looking forward to sour. Uh, I do think they're cool looking. Look at that. It's big. He's got a you know, little red body, green wings. That's, that's pretty neat. Anyways, I'm not going to tell um, any uh, costumey haunt stories. I want to talk about just some of the funnest rooms I've done. One was not particularly fun. <clears throat> it was the year I did a uh, a Frankenstein room, of course. And I really would like... Let me try this guy first. Got it too sour. No. No. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting these out of... Oh, that's... That's tart. Oh, wow. Still was nice. Threw it away after two seconds in my mouth. Um, I didn't even see they were sour when I bought them. But anyways, I'm going to get rid of these uh, at a uh, Halloween show coming up. I'll just put them in a little candy bin and a few gummies out there, some sour ones, some lemons, some, you know, stuff I don't like. Those uh, black and orange ones flew out at the gun show. People were like, Free candy? Why, yes. Thank you, sir. It's free crap candy. Okay, you like it. Take it. So anyways, it was, I did a uh, Frankenstein room, of course, which I, I really want to do classic monsters. I would have done Creature. Creature's my favorite of the classic monster movies. But that's a really tough one to do. you got to somehow create a lagoon. The creature's integral to it. Um... That's a hard room to do. And I, you know, I couldn't figure it out. Frankenstein's an easy room to do because you create a laboratory, uh, which is not hard. And the monster can be accomplished by just, even just old sheets rolled up, put on a table, and then covered and strapped down. You know, somehow you, you can create a body on a table that has a cup, you know. Sometimes I had a Frankenstein head that would be uncovered sometimes I didn't but all in all there's the monster you've got Frankenstein's lab and then the only actor you need is a doctor <clears throat> which is an easy you know lab coat and you've got a doctor sometimes there would be an Igor that was always cool when someone could do that pull that one off and there was one guy that uh, worked with us that was a nutter he wasn't a nutter because he was a uh, cross-dresser. He was a cross-dresser, and he was a nut. <clears throat> um, he just had fun doing it. You know, he would, uh, he did it. I mean, he, he actually was a cross-dresser. He would go in women's clothing as often as he could <clears throat> in real life. To the point where he would show up, for, you know, at the haunt, and he'd just come walking up and go, Daddy. I'm wearing women's panties. And I was just trying to go, I'm not in character. So that's just weird. <laughs> and he would crack up because he got that, you know, I wasn't daddy at the moment. And daddy would care about anything like that. That was his character. You know, he would get excited and act good, but he didn't. So, and this guy would do a Bride of Frankenstein. That was, um, he had a wedding dress. He had a big Bride of Frankenstein wig, which he was already six, Four six six, that wig put him well over, and he wore heels, and the wig was way tall, and he was just, I mean, he was huge, so he was big, he did look sexy, and he was intimidating as hell, so it was just a weird one, would freak guys out to no end, you know, it was a good, a good. Act. Anyways, uh, this one year I did a Frankenstein room. And they had, and also I was asked to go, they were opening up a second haunt and they asked me to go up and see what I could do. And I fixed it, it didn't fix, I did a, like they were going nuts, they wanted to create a, uh, a butcher shop that sold body parts. And I just went and looked in the, uh, the prop department and yeah, there's body parts, but there was no counters, there was no scales. There was nothing that looked like a butcher, you know, a butcher shop. 
But I did find red checkered tablecloths, some candle scones, um, table seats and a podium, and one of those lights that would go on a podium. So I made a five-star diner, or a, a nice restaurant, and put body parts on the tables and said, there you go, that's your cannibal room. Um, I couldn't do a butcher shop. And I'm like, oh, we didn't even think of doing something else about eating people. I'm like, well, that's, you know, why you called me up here. I, I can kind of do stuff like that. So I did it like that in a psycho room for him, I think, and I forget what else. But it didn't matter. I was back at the main haunt that they had a big room and they were going to just block it off, maybe maze it out or something. But so we got no one with any ideas, nothing to do here. You know, I have an idea. I saw some lockers over in our storage facility. Yeah. You know. And I saw a basketball hoop. Yeah. There we go. I'll hold these lockers over. Um, I'll make a backboard, paint it on the wall, put the basketball hoop on it. It happened to be my grandmother's birthday a week or two weeks or so before the haunt opened. So they had a big party for her. She was 75, 80. She was an older, you know, it was a, it was one of the significant birthdays. And after I said, can I have all the streamers and balloons? And like, they're, they've been used. I go, perfect. So I hung up streamers and balloons in the room. Um, put a table in the middle of the room and they put a punch bowl in it and filled it with red water. And I said, there you go. There's a prom night room. I went, oh my God. <laughs> and that was it. It was as simple as that. I go, it's Carrie, it's prom night, it's every 80s slasher movie that had a dance. Um, and the and the actors loved it because they, they played disco music from the 70s and they'd go in and they would dance and scare and they would some would be bloodied up like they just got killed and they'd come out of the lockers and it actually worked out really nice. It was a fun room. And then uh, one other fun room that I got to do was a, a year or so later <clears throat> um, at, uh, it was at the fairgrounds this time. And they wanted to theme, the, the rooms inside had nothing to do with it. The theme, the theme of the house was um, Planet Horrorwood, like Planet Hollywood. So the entrance, and then you, and after you went through the entrance, you went into Freddy's boiler room and into whatever, Chase, and all that stuff. But the entrance was supposed to be Planet Horrorwood. They asked, who can do that? And I took that one. I like that challenge. Um... I painted the walls with the traditional castle look. And that was easy. Um, found tables around, found chairs around, found some, you know, the tablecloths again. I think I found some animal print ones this time. Uh, they had bought out a theater or something. Because he would buy, because a lot of this stuff was props. He didn't know what they, how they'd use them, but they were props. So I grabbed all the red velvet ropes from this theater that was bought out. And I made that the cue coming in through there so no one really could sit at the tables or mess with the candles that were glued or drilled down. And uh, Arch, I know, I'm sorry, Archie sees a cat outside. <laughs> so, and then on the walls, I just went and found props that we weren't using. Easy stuff, like a, a hockey mask, um, a Michael Myers mask and some of the weirder ones like I found just sitting there an old Christmas tree air freshener and I put little tags under each one so it looked like you went into Planet Hollywood and you would see on the wall the mask used in Halloween I, I probably said Halloween 4 or something like that you know I made up everything um, there was some just some big props I put on the walls um, on top of the walls, like a big shark from a Jaws room that was done. And I actually said the shark was from Deep Blue just to kind of rip the guy who made the Jaws room. Um, uh, what else? I mean, the, the pine tree, of course, that was from Seven. Uh, you know, just stuff like that. It was just all decorated around the room. And it was where people waited to get in. And it was kind of cool. People thought, you know, that's a neat little entranceway. 
And uh, I did a few other rooms. I'll tell you about those later because this is good enough. All right. Thanks, folks.